She's already thinking about I'm gonna be queen. No, I... They're gonna cancel her faster than she can spell Russo. Hey lovely people, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We are reacting to episode 5 of Young Royals, season 2. He's lying. Episode 4. Is it 4? You're jumping a week ahead. Oh my god, yes. You're into the future. Episode 4. Yes. Which quite a few of you have mentioned in the comments that it's your favorite episode. So we're excited. And nervous. And nervous. And nervous. nervous. But yeah, without further ado, let's, let's go. go. We continue right where we have left off. Mm. Oh, Henry is the guy who saw them, right? Mm. Wow. Gold digger. She's the richest one around. Uh, yeah. She's looking at Simon and thinking. Look at him, happy. How oh, the tables have oh, turned. Oh no. Oh no, not them too sexting. <laughs> He's like, Girl, <laughs> so innocent. Get with the program. People are bored and something else will happen. I would also watch a uh, show just with those girls. Yeah. Every girl makes out with her best friend while drunk. <laughs> Get with the program. She has some catching up to do. Who oh, is her best friend though? Turns out August might be her best friend. <laughs> San Valentine's. Perfect wow, timing. What a oh, we right? planned that. We planned that. Of course. That. It was all planned. Yes, yes, yes. That's why we also skipped a week a few weeks ago. <laughs> True. It was meant to be. <laughs> <sighs> Is he gonna write her a love letter? I hope so, that would be nice. No wonder the school is so expensive, they have decoration every weekend. Well, if he doesn't write one, she's gonna be very disappointed, I think. He just wants a couple of nudes. <laughs> He's like letters, baby. Now send me a nude. Masquerade. Mm. Literally, exactly. Send a nude. Do it now. <laughs> She is so innocent, it warms my heart. But, you know. Yeah, innocent, but then also not innocent because she mm. just went to, to August and was like, oh, I want to I wanna have sex, right? So, But it also just shows you she's like upfront and innocent in a way where she just told him right away, you know, without thinking. Hmm. Oh, no. No, no, this number. To go onto the table and tell about the situation with Feliz now. Oh. We've done it in season one. Oh no, Simon doesn't know. You need to be quiet, Vincent. What's his name? Oh, oh, Henry. 
Felicia var på mitt rum igår, men vi kollade på film. Det är inte sett det som är favorit episode live. Men bara så att jag är med på noterna. Du menar så. These boys are so annoying. Like literally, it's none of your business. Hey, please, ligga i sängen och hångla. Det är förtal alltså. No. Simon, don't. Just pretend you didn't hear it. Oh my god, I mean, nothing happened. Clowns, Literally absolute nothing clowns, happened. all of them. <laughs> you know what we now need? August standing up and being like, by the way, I'm gonna be the king. <laughs> uh, having said that though, uh, Simon needs to chill for a minute because last mi uh, last time he had Marcus's tongue in his mouth. Exactly, in front of Venom, everybody. So yeah. He needs to... Ugh. Rebound, 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 rebound. Not them bonding. Quick. Ooh, some pizza would be nice now. We're gonna have dinner in a bit. What are you doing on Wednesday? He better watch our reaction. Ah, oh, is, is he gonna invite him? Yeah, of course he is. Drama. With some. Mm. Netflix and chill. Maybe proper chill this time. You know the other other chill. <laughs> you know, usually I can see into the future. And I'm seeing at this masquerade ball, mm -hmm. obviously they're going to be wearing masks. People don't know who is who, and then they're going to start kissing random people thinking it's a different person. Really? Okay. <laughs> Look at them, cute. What a 360. No. Like he was, he, no. last episode he was like, I don't want anything from you, and... Marcus was also still gaslighting him a minute ago. Uh, doing... She doesn't like herself. Oh, yeah. Naked. Uh, I thought uh, I'd have to dig. Have you talked to your mother about it? I don't know. It's not the case. I've had other things to think about. But what? They're going to fight over the horse. Wait for it. It's going to be good. I'm going to go. What is she going to talk about? She want to keep the horse. Yeah. But keep the horse for her, right? But I can't see the parents being like, okay, we're gonna keep him so someone else can ride it. Felice can make some something up. No. He did not just attack the prince. That's not fair because Oh yes. I like it. Wilhelm didn't do that to him, right? When he started hanging out with Marcus. True. True. So you're not team Simon anymore, you're team Willa. Would it be nicer with a heads up? Well... Yep. I can't wait to come there. Ouch. That hurts. The acting is so good. He instantly regrets it now. That he hurt him so much here. We're also getting a little bit more muddy. Madison, Madison. You make my heart bounce like badminton. Hey. <clears throat> Har du tid att snacka lite? Nu? Ja. Jag tror att... När jag såg Simon och Marcus efter tävlingen så kändes det så, kändes det så jävla verkligt liksom. Alltså helt jävla ärligt. Alltså hela skolan snackar skit om mig. Säger att jag försöker gifta mig in i kungafamiljen. Mm. Jag menar bara att jag ville se om du kunde känna så som du gör med Simon. 
Ja, för det gör ju saken så mycket bättre. Och du visste om det. Was she really in love with him? Well, I mean love, I mean she had feelings for him for sure, but... Hon är jävligt, jävligt kräftad med att göra så. But she also didn't stop him. Let's be real mm. here. Can you forlåta mig? Det var ju inte. Not him doing the puppy eyes and the... Ooh. But she did it, he did it, so... They both had falls. Yeah. Like... No. You cannot. You can have a Pokeball. No, someone is gonna see you and... Exactly. More rumors, I mean. Oh, I fattar ingenting. Hur många rader är det ens en sonett? Skicka en dikt till istället så vet vi varför det blir dikt. Villain of this episode? Mm -hmm. Nudes. Är det okej okay, eller? Ja, vad skulle inte vara det? Om jag skulle börja dejta. Ah, they're talking. He did say if you need to talk, let me know. Vad gör du på påsklovet? Vadå? Nej men, du ska inte vara det. Vad gillar du för något? Twinks? Bears? <laughs> Asians? Can we have an invite? <laughs> I want to go to Vebier. Can we have an invite? Yeah. Fan har liksom inte en grej om det bara. Och exactly. Så I mean, sometimes you don't need to talk about it. It's just so be... För han är inget problem. Han är såhär Simon... Vem som helst. Men för dig skulle det bli... En... Du skulle bli en världsnyhet. But it's kind of true what he says, you know? Like, there's... Yes. To, there's to both sides. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. Ja. Nej. Jag viskar ditt namn om natten. Jag skriker ditt namn om dagen. Högt över husen det klinga och hörs över hela stan. Men du. She's a little upset. She, she didn't get one. No. Wow. Var inte det så fint? Police got like ten. Oh my. <laughs> Tits up, tits up. <laughs> it sounds like tits up. What about that guy from? I can uh, see it. She needs Thanks. to be careful. She's playing with fire. Mm. Girl, make it more obvious. Yes. <laughs> what is going on? This is so cute. No, this is so cute. Look at them. Mm. Oh my god. The two villains. <laughs> yeah. They found each other. Yeah. Military education. What? What? They like hand over your life now. <gasps> wow. They basically want to know everything. Uh, yes, all of it. No, nothing. Oh, no. What the hell? This is crazy. Hey. They went from backup plan to the only plan. It's like, okay, Literally, we need to prepare for your the education next 10 years. starts tomorrow. Do you think they've already decided basically that um Oh look at him. He went home is not gonna be the king. It looks like it. They are preparing for it. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. See, oh, I told you last you episode did. he's gonna tell you her. Did. Deserve. Men så det är bara där. Also, jag kommer sluta med pillerna senare. So you can see the wheels are spinning already in her head. She's already thinking about, I'm gonna be queen. No, I... 
They're gonna cancel her faster than she can spell Russo. What did you say? Go to the ball with me? Yeah. This is an explosive episode. Explosive. I like it as well. I want to be happy for them. Okay. Okay. This is so cute. But what is she going to tell Felice? <laughs> hey, I am sleeping with your ex. The one that you broke up with when I told you that he kissed me. Ooh, look at all the dresses. Now is a good time to tell her. I feel like Felice, listen, babe. I need to tell you something. Yeah, true. Det verkar skitjobbigt att vara tillsammans med någon i kungafamiljen. Mm. Ha. Oh, verkligen. Mm. Och Villa och jag är mycket bättre som vänner. Mm. Om han är din nya bästis så kan du säga det. Så jag vet. Wow. Men jag vill gå med dig. Med mig? Alltså jag vet att jag har varit väldigt mycket med Ville på sistone. <laughs> but how crazy to say that, <laughs> like, oh, if he's your new bestie, not me anymore, just say it. But if she's her bestie, you would be honest with her. Maybe she doesn't know or understand or doesn't see the damage it could cause if she doesn't print and say, listen. Yeah, and as you said as well, Felice might not, not even care, you know? Because she doesn't have feelings for all Yeah, it'd be like, it just developed, you know? She might just be like, be careful with him, you yeah. know? This is a nice song. This is gonna be a disastrous situation. <gasps> Look at him, he's so destroyed. Oh my god, I wanna hug him. Oh my god, the acting is incredible. That is going to be a thumbnail. I swear. <laughs> Girls, please leave the room. I need to speak to Felice. Now's the time. Maybe it's her! Oh, that would be cute. It is her. It seems like me. Oh my god, it is her. Oh, this is crazy. I just can't handle. It's just an emotional roller coaster. Oh, so are they just gonna stay in the room and not to go to the actual ball? No, but I think he wants to make it nice. Look, he got champagne and everything, yeah. so... Oh, this is... I don't like him, but I don't want her to break his heart. And I also don't want him to break her heart. He's gonna... She's gonna be like, sorry, babes, I can't come. Oh, no. Why is she doing that? Mama, ya te dije que no quiero ir. Marcus is gonna be... Babe. Huh? All suited up? As expected. Well, he's doing it for you. <sighs> he's so cute, but the gaslighting from last episode. Mm. For all we know, he's also maybe just doing it to show off again in front of Wilhelm. Maybe he wants to get to Villa. I don't think so. Maybe that is the plan. I didn't know that the house was What are they called? They have names. They have names. They do! They Liar! Do. We know! We have receipts! He, he told them. No, he said Villa. them when the he listed film the was names. there. Yeah. He listed the names. Wow. He's just using Marcus. He's just using Marcus. Yeah, rebounds. More like punching ball. He's using Marcus to upset Villa. Marcus is using Simon to upset Villa. Villa is upset, so win-win. <sighs> this is crazy. Mm, champagne fountain. 
I can understand why people say this is the favorite episode. It's an emotional yeah, roller coaster. It's a party. It's fun. They all look good, I have to say. Tuition money well spent. Oh, wow. Spiking the drinks. No no teachers. There we go. The teachers don't care. <laughs> Literally. <gasps> wow, she realized. <laughs> Interesting. Why don't you tell her? Why don't you tell Felice that you want to sleep with August? <laughs> or you are sleeping with August? She is overthinking it. Babe, chill. Give her a kiss. Tell her how you feel. It's so easy, no. especially at that age, you know. It's just a lot of emotions. Oh, this is gonna be explosive. The crown prince is here. Come on, let's dance. He's so villa standing there and he's like, let's go dance. Over there. I feel like today, actually, I'm not going to be Team Simon. Take it off, man. Yeah. Do it now. <laughs> Wrong episode two. <laughs> <This t -shirt. laughs> it's going to be like... Cancelled. <laughs> you can have a refund. I have the receipt. <laughs> You know what would be cool now? If the principal would turn up and dance. <laughs> okay, we cannot finish the season with me liking August. I sympathize with him. Yeah. To a certain degree. Fair enough. Well, take your shirt off. We're here for it. Oh, they have to sing tonight. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Awful. Simon is looking over every five he's, seconds. You can tell he's so uncomfortable. With no, this. I think he also just wants to make sure that uh, that Villa keeps looking over. I think you need to burn that T-shirt. I mean, oh no, Felice is gonna see them. Felice already had quite a lot of trauma. She really doesn't need any more, no? I mean, <laughs> that way. But then it also shows that actually he really likes Sarah and he wants to show it to everyone, right? He just wants to be with her. <gasps> Oh! What are you doing? No! Why is he doing this now? This is crazy. I changed my mind. I don't like him. Oh no. The it's like, off. what? Is he doing anything and everything to make sure that he's going to become king? I think the gloves are off now. It's fair game, basically. Because also, Villa has been targeting him for the last few episodes now. He's been targeting him since they're back from Christmas break. No. Oh no. Nice. This is See, that's good because he's trying to behave like a grown up and right? Everything is okay, like he's dealing with the situation. Well, at least he's trying to, to show that. I love how they're both playing games, but look at them, they're both messes. Both of them. Yeah. 
fire. Is that a fire alarm? No. Oh, that's the music. <laughs> He's just hearing things now. Will you really love me? Wow. Even though I think you you love me for real, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I don't care. I'm gonna hate me. I saw you when you went for Simon with Wilhelm, but I can't even think about it. I'm not Wilhelm, okay? I'm not. Okay, so she is yeah. trying to protect herself as well, or is it just me? But interesting that she actually is thinking about Felice's feelings as well, and her friendship with Felice, you know? Which is good. But saying one thing and doing the other thing is, mm. you know... If she really cared for Felice, she wouldn't be going into his room and, you know... Okay. No, you're not checking with the car. Marcus is gonna be checking on you in a minute, cause... Oh no... Oh, it's 10 o'clock, he needs to sing! She's gonna... he's gonna miss the gig. What the hell? Alltid bara fel mellan oss. Yes, and you know we'll see them. Don't do it! Don't do it for us, please. I can't handle it. <laughs> no. Just withdraw. No. They couldn't stop each other. And there is Marcus. Where is he? They did miss each other. Simon is such a good kisser. Oh, look how happy no, they are. They are. This is gonna be explosive, you guys. And everybody's looking for Simon because he needs to sing. Simon. Go, go away so he doesn't see you. Bitch. He's like, ah, oh, I still have a chance with him. What we want is to He's gonna, he's gonna see Wilhelm, no? I mean... He needed air, girl. Aw, oh, bless him. Well, sorry about it. <laughs> Moving on. You're the villain. Say it did, like it all so oh my god, and he's looking he's at... He's singing it for him. Yeah. Oh, Marcus obviously is gonna see that. That is a very nice song. It's like actually the perfect moment for him to sing this now. Woo! I mean, surely Marcus has to see that, no? Marcus has already left. He's <laughs> on his way home. Do you think? No. He is not. He's still there. Smiling. Being delusional. Delulu. <laughs> you know who's Delulu? <laughs> Vincent. Vincent? Vincent. <laughs> the new prefect. Oh. Well, him as well. Oh my god. This is the end? This is another nice song. Okay. For once, actually, this is a nice ending. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's it's letting us soft into the next. It's softening the, the blow. Maybe that's why everybody says, "Oh, we like this episode because actually it's quite nice." You know, it's there's not, positive stuff happening. It's only explosive to me. And to you, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "No!" I mean, with a nice ending. So. I don't want to. I don't want to feel for Marcus. I don't want to feel for August, but I do. You know, I do, because. You know, the, they're still humans, they still have feelings. Yes, Marcus was gaslighting him last yeah. episode, that was really bad. But, you know, don't play with people's feelings. Because at the end of, at the, end of the day, you don't want Marcus to play with your feelings. Mm. So don't go and play with his feelings either. Yeah. 
But Simon also didn't know that Marcus was gaslighting him. So let's go. What do you think? Well, yeah. I mean, let's let's start with with this beautiful ending. Okay, let's start with the beautiful ending. Um, S- Simon can't stop smiling, and Willard can't stop smiling. And for some reason, Marcus was also smiling. smiling. <laughs> he probably thought that's a nice song. He probably wrote it for me, <laughs> even though Simon is not looking at me at all. Um. No, but like obviously, I mean the the ball was beautiful. Like obviously, everybody was wearing the beautiful dresses and the wigs and everything. Yeah. Um. And you could tell during the ball, Simon was almost trying to get the attention of Wilhelm. Oh right? my god! He was yes. like, he was telling Marcus like, oh, let's go dancing. Like, yeah. oh, like, oh, uh, Wilhelm is over there. Mm-hmm. Um. But then, you know, Willem tried to be an adult about the whole situation, right? He had this conversation with Marcos. He was trying yeah. to be nice, doing small talk, blah, blah, blah. And he said, he said to Simon, like, oh, I'm just trying to move on yeah. now. Right? I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah. And I think that's where Simon then realized, oh, shit, I'm actually losing losing him him for good you know maybe also after the maybe also because of the Felice thing you know the situation between Felice and him he might think oh you know this is becoming real yeah but what does this mean now yes it's a nice ending but it's not a nice ending because like what does it mean yeah I mean yeah I mean they had this nice kiss and they seem to be on cloud nine they're very good at kissing each other. I was like, hmm? And they're happy right now, but like, what does it mean? You know? Yes. How is it going to continue? Because the situation itself hasn't changed. No. And of course, Villa doesn't know, but the court, the royal court, is preparing for plan B, which yeah. appears to be moving very fast. I mean, they want to know everything. Well, like, uh, send give us, us all your saliva samples, for... <laughs> everything. Well, also give us all your, all your passwords, passwords for your social media. Yeah. And then the question, are you heterosexual? Sexual? <laughs> are you Her- heterosexual? Heterosexual. I mean, bless like, Sarah. That, the, alone, that question shows... Homophobes. Yeah, homophobes. And yes. they don't want Wilhelm as king no. if, it, if he really is... No. Turns gay out, or bisexual, you know, like if he comes out with it. Turns out the real villain of the season is the royal court. And that includes Marlin. Yeah. And Christina with her little talk last episode. Was it last episode? Mm-hmm. Uh, when she was in her private jet. Oh, when you're 18, we'll talk. Yada, yada, yada. No. You Girl. can decide when you're 18. No. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you true. can't decide. No. We're deciding for you. We're deciding for you. Behind your back. Behind your back. <laughs> While we're doing that, we're also preparing a big bomb. <laughs> Can you imagine Willis face when August tells him, hey, listen, I'm here to replace wow. you. As much as he doesn't want it, he will want it, I think, there. Yeah, out of spite. Because he doesn't want August to become Because him. that would be also just thinking about the relationship he had with his brother, right? Thinking about Eric. Because, and that's just me puzzling it together, he can't do this to Eric. Mm. It's Eric's legacy, right? Eric was the crown prince. So Villa, in a way, has to do it because of the love and respect he, and the connection that he had with his brother. Giving le- Eric's legacy and handing it over to August, mm. it's not going to happen. We haven't seen the trailer for, for episode three, but trust and believe... It's going to be center stage in episode three, uh, uh, season three, sorry. Yeah. They're going to fight over it. Will is not going to give up the legacy of his brother. Yeah. No. And actually, it would be such a positive thing. And like, he would be a role model because he would be the first gay, gay king. king. Openly gay king. Openly gay king. Yes. Um, Let's talk about Sarah and August. Yeah, because obviously we just said they wanted to know everything about him. And, and were... like, oh. 10-year plan we need to prepare I was like what mm. 
Military servers as well. They didn't do any of that with Wilhelm. Is that because August is a third year and is about to graduate? Maybe. So in theory, yeah, if, maybe. If, when Wilhelm reaches that point, they'll also go into this 10-year 10 10 yeah. year plan military, military school. Yeah. Um, but what did I tell you? What did you tell me? Right after, he sits on the bed next to Sarah. He tells her. And he tells her. I knew he can't keep it to himself. But I think it's less a thing of him showing off and telling her because it's news that he wants to share. I think he shared it with her because because of him liking her, right? He genuinely likes her. He enjoys this. No, no, no. He literally said it at the end. He said, I really like you. Oh, no, no, and like you I'm only not... want me for sex. He yeah. says to her, you only want me for sex. No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, but I think it's like both. You think? Right? He does really like her and he wanted to share that with her. But at the same time, I do think in his head, he's already king and he just wants to share that, you know? Hmm. He's hmm. power hungry. Yeah. He wants to be in control. And actually, this also shows, like, he wants to be in control, right? Yeah. So he, him obviously having feelings for Sarah, thinking she likes him back, and then kind of being um, pushed aside... Now at the end, mm. right? Sarah didn't want to go to the ball with, with him, him together. He's already spiraling. Like he's already thinking, oh, so this was all fake. Like you just want to have sex with me. Yeah. You don't have feelings for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and again, now he's not in control of the situation. Mm. And that's why he's like, again, so upset about it. Interesting. Interesting. And he, he is a bit of a control freak. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. yeah. But uh, you know what? I want to say the fact. I, I actually want to say he is handling the situation really well. Mm. That he lost the prefect. Oh yeah, that yes, yeah. I think yeah, he just got used to it. You know, he's but but he's not fighting to like he's not fighting to get it back or anything. So I actually want to say well because he moved on to bigger and better things. <laughs> he's like I'm gonna be king. Yeah, I don't know. I want to say I'm seeing a shift in his character for the better. Yes, for sure. Whenever he's with Sarah, like we saw it, right? They were so nice together. Mm. And I do think that's why maybe they're good together as a couple because you can see it. there's like a positive change within him. We'll see how it plays out, but so far it's interesting, like you said as well, because right now Sarah still puts Felice over him in the sense that she wants to protect him. So she's like, I don't want to go with you to the ball because I want to protect her. Mm. She should just tell her, but, but she again, doesn't know better. again, communication, you know? Uh, if, you she, if she would have actually told him that before, clearly, it's yeah. like, listen, I would love to go with, to the ball with you, but... I can't because of Phillies and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> maybe, Just like that. Maybe maybe he would have understood. I think so. Why not just like, sorry, I can't go with you. I'm going, I'm with, going the with the girls. While he's waiting there for you with champagne and candlelight. Yeah. He is in love with her. He is in love with her. Anyway, I was also thinking, you know, Vincent has become such an asshole. Vincent being the new mm -hmm. prefect. Right, that scene where they were in the mess hall and they were eating, and then he started this tradition of like, Villa, Villa, Villa. I can't believe it. Like, the writer was just like, you know what? We're going to take your character and we're going to make him very annoying in season two. <laughs> yes. How annoying can you be as a character? How annoying? Anyway. Maybe maybe that's like the curse of being a prefect. You, you, just, you just turn into an annoying little asshole. Let's talk about Alex and August. August telling Alex. What was that about? Oh, you know what that was about. That's August. August? August, August fighting back. August is fighting back. He's instigating shit, you know. But is he though? He just said the truth. He said the truth. <laughs> Villa was the one playing the game and tricking Alex. And August is like, babe, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. This one over here threw you under the bus. Your friend threw you under the bus. 
truth. So yes, he's instigating, but he, he isn't really. He's just saying the truth. Yeah. I keep forgetting, actually, that back then it was Simon who brought the drugs into the school. So yes. Right? Yes. He is at fault as well, but then... Also... So, I mean, Simon was actually not there, no? At that evening, no, back then in season one, when they were like having a party. Yeah, yeah. It was their evening and Alex was serving them. Yeah. Um, obviously, we, we both reacted to it, but the scene where Simon is getting ready and then Martin... Martin? Marcus. Marcus <laughs> is like, um, do these fishes have names? And he's like, no, they don't. But they do. They do. Right? And obviously we had a very similar you. moment in the previous season yeah. where Wilhelm was there. And he was like, yeah. He's naming them one by one. This is his name. That's his name. Yeah. So it kind of shows, I guess, that... He doesn't care for Marcus. He doesn't care. He's not fully opening up to Marcus. He's not really giving him a chance. You no. Know? He's not letting he's him still, in. With his mind, he's still thinking about yeah. August. Uh, sorry, Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Fun episode. I, I can see why people like it. That I can nice see why people like it. I was constantly like... <gasps> <gasps> there was drama, but there were also had like a lot of nice moments. What are the two girls called that are part of this friend group? And then the one girl, the blonde girl, wrote her the love letter. Oh, what's what's yeah. their names? I forgot. Shall we call them Brenda and Sophie? <laughs> Brenda? Sophie and Michelle. Sh- Sophie and Michelle. So Michelle is the blonde one who loves Sophie. Sophie's the Lulu. She's trying to find the boy, but it's actually Michelle who wrote the letter. Sophie, please. She needs to wake up. I do understand Sad her, knows. though. Right? Yeah, she said. Do you want to risk yeah. friendship. The, the friendship that you had for like many, many years? You know. But then you're gonna have those feelings in you forever, and you, you will. There, there will be a moment in life where you ask yourself, "What if? Yeah. What yeah, if true. I would have told her?" Anyway, is there anything else? Um, no, it's time for dinner. So. It's time for dinner. <laughs> that was a fun episode. You guys were right. It's probably one of the better ones. Not that the other ones aren't good, but if you would rank them, yeah. this one would probably be up, be higher up. Obviously, we have two more to go, five and six. Um, and then we're going to also react to the trailer, trailer three, which we haven't watched yet, but we're going to do that for obvious reasons. No spoilers. Uh, also, when you leave a comment, please, no spoilers. We loved reading through your comments last week. My God, there were so many. (laughs) And so many and so long. We were literally just going through them over the weekend when we had time over breakfast. Uh, It's nice to hear from you guys and hear so much more because a lot of you have said it. You keep rewatching the show and every time you watch it, you see new things, you see different things. And as we're watching it or or we sit down and start editing, we're like, oh my God, oh my God. Mm. Like, because there is so much. Um, So thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. We will see you for episode five. Take care. Bye.